Oh, I seem to be red today. Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Today we're talking about Facebook Horizon News. Let's go! Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. My name is Lazius K, and today we're talking about Facebook Horizon News. Now, it's pretty cool because there was a user on Reddit who uploaded a message to say that he was invited to conduct some of the Facebook Horizon trials. And it does say also that he has to sign an NDA, specifically page one and three. And the first thing he did was post a picture about it on Reddit, which is, I'm sure it's fine, but it was just completely hilarious to see that. So what do we know about this? Well, Facebook Horizon was first announced last year at the end of 2019. It's gonna be a new social media VR platform that we're looking forward towards. So what's gonna happen? What's gonna be new? What can we possibly know as to what's coming out? Let's find out. Now, one of the reasons why we're very excited about this, of course, is because Facebook has more than 1.3 billion users, of which there's probably 70% of those users who go back to Facebook every day, three, four times. So it's definitely gonna generate a lot of buzz and also try to get more of their current database into virtual reality. Now, despite Facebook's large database, they're gonna face strong competition. If you look at the landscape, including, for example, Rec Room, one of the most popular social media VR apps where people can go online and play some paintball and a whole bunch of other mini games, as well as create their own mini game worlds. Or you have also VR chat, of course, probably the most popular one, where people can dress up as their favorite animes or favorite characters of any kind and create a whole bunch of other worlds. Of course, there's old space, which is probably the opposite of what VR chat is in terms of graphics but you know they focus more on user base and community so there's a strong community there as well and of course there are other platforms available including vr time or v time xr also known uh, where they focus more on people who can mingle together in vr within dreamy worlds dreamy landscapes if you wish and then the other thing of course is that most of these platforms provide you the ability to meet up on the pc so you have pc users and vr users combined together. Other strong competition, of course, includes Big Screen, which is also a social media VR platform where people can go and watch movies together and play games, as well as be more productive if you're in a company, for example. So some strong competition there. If we look at some of the failures, we can undoubtedly look at Second Life. Second Life, which came out perhaps too far ahead of its time was an amazing concept. The fact that it provides opportunity for people to earn money through a digital stream in a digital avatar. But unfortunately it was dogged by really bad gameplay. It was really hard to learn the technology. The internet back then wasn't as fast as what it is today. And the graphics were too intensive. So it made it very hard to play. Now, since then they have moved on to Sensor, which is a big, of course, another competition to Facebook. But again, Sensor, even though it is beautiful, it is very beautiful, but it's very graphic intensive. It's full of bugs. Other VR social media platforms that are struggling at the moment include Avatars Against Humanity, VR Tools, Embody Me, and there are others. The fact that VTime is also not yet on SideQuest, even though they have stated they are working on a Quest version, shows that they're behind the pace as well. And of course, we need to mention Facebook Spaces. Now, this is both good and bad. First of all, it shows that Facebook have already tried. And the good side is that, well, they managed to get that feedback from users, getting to see and analyze how people interact and what kind of things they do, but also from a backend point of view, in terms of what kind of resources they would need in order to make things work properly. Bad because, well, obviously the way they run things within that specific community didn't really work. It hasn't really picked up the way that they wanted to, which in a way is a great shame. At the end of the day, would it leave opportunity for growth in Facebook Horizon? Before I give you my final thoughts on Facebook Horizon, I just want to give a quick shout out to all those who went to watch the previous video, which was all about the top 10 VR games that you can cross by in the Oculus Store today. You guys are awesome. Remember to comment below so that I can give you a shout out in the next video. 
after all in all, Facebook Horizon is coming. It's gonna be here within six months, let's say. I definitely don't think it will take longer than that. And it is exciting for the VR industry. Will they take over all the other social networking platforms? What do you think? Are you excited? What do you think is gonna happen? What kind of things do you think they're gonna release? Leave a comment below. I'd like to thank you again for watching this video. Remember to like and subscribe, share some love so that you and I together, you and I together, we can grow the community and help as many people in VR because that is what it's all about. All right, until next time, take it easy as always. DJ, take it away. Whew.